Hey guys, it's Tia at B5 Designs. Welcome back to my channel. I am back on to share my um, Michaels and Hobby Lobby haul and mess with my hair. I filmed this once and I thought it was too chatty and then I filmed it again or started it and I was talking for five minutes before I ever showed anything because I'm really excited today. I went on a luncheon with um, some past co-workers that I haven't seen for several years and it was amazing they're also wonderful just great ladies and I was so super excited to see them all and um, yeah you know you have great people in your life and sometimes you just like we all keep in contact and kind of see each other's lives on Facebook but um, it was a great day a great a special day to get together um, you know, not everybody could come. We're going to do it again though. And just, you know, people have had, when we all worked together, we all had kids. Um, and now of course, a lot of us have grandkids, but my former boss has great grandkids and she is going to be 80 years old and her mom is still alive and her mom is a hundred and she's still um, very, you know, mentally alert, the, the, my friend's mom, that's a hundred, and it's just amazing. Um, I, you know, it's, it's wonderful. Um, it was so good to see every one of them, and tomorrow I am, my husband and I are traveling to, it's about 90 miles from here, Sioux Falls, South Dakota, and my son and daughter-in-law and my two grandsons are going to, we're going to go to the zoo, and I'm super excited about that, and then next weekend, we're all going to their house, which is about 45 minutes from here, and I'm like my whole, all my boys are going and I I think my son and his wife and my granddaughter are coming the last I heard they were so it's gonna be fun it'll be only like the third time that the two uh, youngest grandbabies have been together and they are both nine months old they were born literally I think one was born at six in the evening my grandson and then my granddaughter was born at four in the morning so they're literally that many hours apart and I'm excited to see them actually then the following weekend is the 4th of July and um, I get to see them again because we're having a cookout we always have a cookout on the 4th of July with all of my sons which I have five sons the two wives and of course if they want to you know this want to bring a friend or whatever you want to say they can um, I mean the boys that are single and um, then my grandson so I am gonna be in grandmama heaven for the next three weekends and I probably will be watching my granddaughter next weekend maybe uh, usually when my son is off work, which is every other weekend, I will say, hey, do you want me to watch Amber? And they're so good about letting me spend time with her. Um, you know, they all have busy lives. So, you know, work and, and, you know, trying to be a family and trying to be a spouse, you know, just like everybody. And um, so I'm really, really blessed to, um, I usually see my granddaughter twice a month and, um, I usually see my grandsons at least once um, if not twice and that kind of works out good because the one has you know every other weekend off the other one my youngest works every Saturday he works six days a week um, and uh, so sometimes on Saturdays he just has a half a day but he, he, he needs to have his time you know with his family too and I understand that um, anyway I walked into Michaels because I've been wanting to get this paper pad and the last time I was in there although they said they had it in stock I couldn't find it and then so I was gonna do curbside pickup this time and they said they were out of stock and I thought you know what I'm gonna go in and see if they don't have it and the first area where they said they had it, where it was listed on the website, they didn't. And then when I got up front, kind of by the old dollar spot, 
they had a stack and they had this one and I don't know how you say this um, my Konos I guess and it's just like a really pretty blue and it's got foils in it uh, cobalt blue is the color of uh, my son's wedding and my son has been married for gonna be five years my one son and I still have not completed their album but they had um, had their wedding uh, pictures on disc um, my niece took is a photographer and she took their pictures and I had we had the disc my husband was supposed to upload everything and he didn't get it done so then my son took it back and had it on a shelf at their house and their dog got it and tried to eat it so it got scratched and it did ruin a couple of the pictures and unfortunately once everything was um, photoshopped or touched up or whatever after, once my niece did all of that and put it on the disc then she got rid of them she deleted them off of her computer um, and they lost a couple of pictures but I, I don't know how many but I'm still gonna be able to make them a really beautiful album um, so I'm excited to do that and I think although I have a ton of stuff that I've collected to make the album I just didn't have time and now I have more time so I did pick that up and then I was walking through and they have these paper coin kits and they were on clearance for ooh, I don't remember like four bucks and you get two of the, the patterns in here and then you get all the paper for quilling and you get a quilling needle and then you get like a really thick cardboard stand so you can make two of them and then glue them onto that stand or they could fit into like a thicker shadow box type frame so I got this one you know guys I love my sunflowers and I was thinking that you could probably put um like well, I guess you could spray it, seal it, spray seal it, and then you wouldn't have to worry about it getting stained up, I guess. Like if you were going to, because my kitchen is where I have the sunflowers, if you wanted to do that, or you could put, I was thinking maybe acetate over it. And then I got this one, and I, it's, you know, my thing with rainbows. And um, again, there's two in here, and then... I got this one that says what does it say just love and since there's two I might take one of each to display at my work and then in the dollar spot and these truly were a dollar I picked up let's see these stamps don't need them but got them anyway and these not stamps stickers and then I don't know, I think I got yeah these and then I got these weird and then they had I gotta grab them because I actually put them away <laughs> so sorry I bumped the camera um a lot of their stuff was buy one get one half off and because I'm attempting to do some 4th of July cards I wanted to get these and this is their recollections brand and then I didn't know what else to get because it was buy one get one half off so I went ahead and got these and these are those teeny tiny like gems that you can put use as like a flower center and um, I got these from Creating for Fun. I don't know if you can even see it because it's so tiny. But I think maybe this is what she used as centers. I don't know if you guys can see. See that little teeny tiny? I think, and if it's, you know, if it's not the same thing, they would certainly work. Um, let's see. Aren't they cute? And I might already have these. I don't know, but you know, whatever. I guess I got them twice. So because once again, I talked too much, I'm going to come back and show you what I picked up at Hobby Lobby. See you in a minute.